What's up guys, I am Lee Morris, this is Patrick Hall. This is Critique the Community Automotive Edition. We have 20 pictures that we are going to critique here, rating them one through five, and we'll... we'll... All of these images come from our community, so if you want to be a part of that, you can uh, sign up on fstoppers.com, make your own account, and upload your own pictures, and then when we do a genre that you want to include your own photos with, you can submit them in the forum, and we will critique them here on the iPad. Let's get right to it. Here's the first shot. Very cool looking. I'm so bad with sports cars, but I assume this Dude, is a I am, McLaren. I am not a car person at all, so this is going to be the most challenging critique I've ever done, I believe. Ready? Three, two, one. You gave it a three, I gave it a four. I could go four, I was thinking. Uh, three is a solid image for your portfolio. Four is excellent. It's a little bit above solid. Uh, probably somewhere in between. I think it's very well done, though. Um, you, probably the biggest thing that bothers me uh, is the, the dark shadow on the upper left side of the hood. Um, it, something about it just looks a little weird when you compare it to the, the bright highlight, but overall, I still like the, the mood of this image a lot. I love the mood of it. I think it's really, really cool. I keep trying to put it like in a car ad or trying to figure out how this would be used. And it just seems like for such a fancy car, it's kind of in a weird location, but I like the way the location is shot and lit. Yeah. So I think it's executed really, really well. I just feel like it's a little wide and the trains with the car, I don't quite get the concept. I don't know that I'm a huge fan of this thing on the far right. I was thinking I did kind of like the light on the far right. I don't know what that is. It just seems, I, don't I keep going to that direction instead of on the car. So I think it's probably a 3.5. Cool. It's executed really well. All right. Are you ready? I believe so. I'm going to be a little rough here. Three, two, one. I give it a one. A one star? <laughs> you gave it two. You yeah. think that's a snapshot? Uh, one star is a snapshot, meaning that anybody in that moment with any camera without thinking could have taken the exact same shot. Two is a needs work before it hits your portfolio. No, I don't agree with that. Um, first of all, the car is positioned in the middle of the road. They did the little wheel turn. Uh, yeah, but they did the wheel turn the wrong way. They did do it the wrong way. Usually you usually you do the wheel turn away from the camera so that you could see the rim better. This is like backwards. You see the tread. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's clearly in, uh, I believe, at Chicago. So it's downtown in a really busy area. So they probably stopped traffic or went out and try to knock this out quickly. It's definitely, there's been thought put into this, and the HDR-ness of the image shows that they've done a lot of post-production. This, I would never say this is a lot of post-production. This looks like it's a lot literally of shadow horror. highlight or uh, the iPhone shadow highlight I don't to think me. that's the iPhone look. That has a little bit more of the, uh, what's the slider we all hate? The Illuminosity, you know, the oh, one, the, the Clarity slider. Clarity. I never even used that one. It's got a little clarity, a little yeah. shadow highlight to it. They've clearly done something. I don't see how you could give that a one. I, I almost don't see how you can give this a two. I, I just A two is it doesn't belong in your portfolio. You shouldn't show this to anybody, but you're trying and you did some work. You thought about it. Um, so you look at this image and you, you, you say a photographer took yeah. this, not somebody not who your just mom. Ha has... Like, I look at this and just say, like, hey, my buddy has got his dad's car for the weekend. Like, take a shot of me under this bridge with No, my dad's this car. is not, I pulled out my cell phone and quickly took a snapshot. Okay. This has some planning. Either way, it's not good, but it's not a one. All right, next up. A lot more thought and lighting when this one. Uh, Why does it seem like this car is... I guess it's just the pattern, but I look at this and it looks like it's about to fall apart. This car looks so <laughs> wobbly and like the angles, it, it looks like. Is this the, I'm gonna say something that probably makes me sound stupid, but this might be the Jim Kana car, one of his many cars that he's done those videos in. Although um, I could be very wrong. I don't even know who that is, so All right, I'm well. even more uneducated. Uh, you ready? Um, sure. Three, two, one. Three stars. Uh, I think it's a solid image. I think it it looks good. I just I don't know that I could give it a four or five star um, 
in this location, I guess. It's just kind of uh, plain. Obviously, a lot of work's been put into the lighting, um, but it's just so I'm not a fan still. of the car. I don't know if that should be anything to do with it. Probably But I shouldn't. feel like with the Monster logo right there, I like the tones that they've gotten. I like the green. I feel like it fits that kind of car. Yeah. yeah. But again, I know nothing about... It's a solid image. I mean, I, I could see it pushing a four, but I still give it a three. Next up. I do not know what car this is. This is like the, uh, what was that cartoon? Speed Racer? That's his car. You ready? Three, two, one. Two stars. Uh, See, I could lean on this one being more towards a one. It's done way better. But that looks like a snapshot to me. Like, that looks like. I don't know. I feel, very like, little I feel like the composition on this is correct compared to the one. Sure, two shots sure. Ago. But in terms of post production, I could almost say there's none. Maybe they dodged in the sky and brought it back. But it looks to... better than the post production on the one in the back. Sure, sure. Anyway, um, I feel like this this is definitely bordering on snapshot. It's definitely done by somebody who understands composition, exposure, stuff like that. But I certainly wouldn't put this in a professional portfolio if you were trying to be a professional car photographer. It's just anybody with any camera would have taken this exact shot if they would have been there. But it's yeah. done well. Anything else to say on it? Not really. Next up. What you got to say here? I mean, I see what they're trying to go for. Do you? All right. No, I don't. <laughs> Three, two, one. All right, we have our first one <laughs> without a shadow of a doubt. Um, yeah, so this shot is, uh, I don't know, it's just the definition of a snapshot to me. The car is underexposed. It's got horrible reflections all over it. Uh, it's got the weird tilt to the frame, no post-production, no thought went into the lighting, um, no thought went into, you know, positioning the car. I mean, obviously the, they thought they wanted to shoot the car from the back, but nothing about this looks professional to me. Yeah. Next. Ooh. That's really awesome. You know what you're gonna write that one? No, no, I'm gonna write it. I'm on the fence here. I'm gonna be a little nice for this one. A I'm little gonna blow nice? your mind. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a five a star. A little nice by going a, to the highest rating. A world class on this. I love the mood of this image and the way that they've balanced the shadows, but there's still some detail in there. I could totally see this being a Camaro ad. Um, maybe this is a Camaro ad. It's good enough, and it's certainly not. It's not perfect, it's not flawless, like, you know, it's not perfectly symmetrical with the lighting or anything, but that's okay to me because of the vibe that this image gives off. I love the background. How do you feel about the car being shot perfectly straight? I, like, it works here, obviously, yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah. it's not the most widely featured image when you look at car photography. No, it's certainly not, and I think that's why I like it. Like, normally photographing a car directly from the front like this would be really boring, but because of the background, like, if you took this car out and put it on a seamless background, it would look, this picture would be horrible. Right, right. But you put it in this amazing background, they have the light rays with the, with the dust back behind it. It just looks really awesome to me. But I certainly understand a four rating, like, um, I think this isn't in my mind like a definite, it's 100% a five star image, but man, it's, it's very well. You better done. remember this in a year. I know, right? Un it's supposed to be unforgettable as well. Ooh, another nice shot. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. All right, so I went nicer here. You gave it a four, I gave it a three. The reason that I give it a three and not a four, I definitely consider it a four. I just don't think it's as polished as it could be. Yeah. Um, you know, definitely like the dirt and the tire tracks on the bottom left side. I, I might have added a vignette or something down there to get that out of there. Um, the car itself, kind of like that other one you were complaining about, it's just one of these race cars that's not in excellent condition because it's not supposed to be. It's not a show car. It's kind of, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. It's, it's not supposed to look flawless and elegant what is your thought on like this hard shadow that just like that to me is the thing that really pushes me towards the lower end of a four 
Um, it seems like yeah. that shadow's there because they lit it from behind to get the highlights. Yeah. But then I feel like a really good car photographer would somehow find a way to mediate that and, and not make that as sharp. Yeah, I don't know if that bothers me as much. Uh, I just feel like with this shot, you know, it's it's lit okay, but it's just not as polished as it could be. That, that's really all I can say about it. Next up. That's What's interesting. Going on here. This looks like uh, like a, either a studio shot that was composited on this background or they took the car out there and did like a ton of different flash pops and then got it to look like this because obviously the lighting makes no sense. <laughs> because if you look at the way the sun is positioned and casting shadows in the background based on the way that the tires and everything are lit on this side, doesn't make any sense, but uh, it almost has a hint of like direct flash going on. Yeah, like it, it's got that flat look, and the highlights on the bars and stuff look like the light source is very. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. All right. You went three. I was went two. You split it a two. The difference. I, I feel like this photographer certainly knows what they're doing, but they they just did it a little sloppily for me, and I honestly I would say mess with your compositing a little bit if this is composited uh the the lighting on the the front and the tires and like patrick said it's like you lit i believe in my opinion too close to the camera and so it's it's creating these highlights reflecting back of the camera that that makes it appear to be kind of like this direct flash or ring flash shot which makes things look cheap in my opinion and then it doesn't at all match the background. I feel like the background's kind of crappy looking. It's kind of like a snapshot background. There's so much going on here that's like so close yeah. that I gave it a three. I really like the fact that it's a vehicle that you wouldn't normally see, see shot, you know? Mm -hmm. So it has like a lot of potential. When I just look at this, I don't know if it's because of these trees and the wide angle of the landscape and where the car is, but it just looks off to me. It looks like it's been composited from a different focal length or a different vanishing point. Maybe maybe it's correct, I don't know. I just look at this and it's like too much information. My eye doesn't really know where to go, but I feel like you could make that vehicle look so cool yep. in a very similar you know, environment. Yep. But the way it is now with this tree leaning and with all the rocks and there's like infinite depth of field, it just feels like a little, whoa, too much for me. Okay. It's too much to take in. So I think it's done fairly well. It's done on a three level, but I feel like as a final image to me, it's still like a two. I don't, I don't know that this would compete with other people who shoot for a living okay. if you put that in your portfolio. Interesting car and lighting here. I'm ready when you are. I'm torn on this one. I'm going to be nice. Three, two, one. All right. We reverse rolls. To me, this is this is worse than the one that we just saw. Um, the car is too too lit. It makes no sense. It's like when, when the car is bright and the wheels are as bright as they are, but then there's a huge shadow under the car, it just doesn't appear to be you know, natural at all. So it, it looks like this car was cut out and then just stuck right in the scene using Photoshop. And I I don't think it was. I think they went around and, and did flash pops or something, but something about it does not look right. I really like the scene. If anything, I would kind of agree with you and say that the car looks off, but the scene looks kind of cool. Like, I don't like the softbox in the top right of the window. I feel like you see, like, clear softbox reflections in the wheel in well. The paint. Yeah, and in the hood. It just seems like, you know, you could... Uh, burn those in and just make it a little more smooth but you're right like underneath the car it just goes to dark dark shadow i mean it's cool to have the shadow cast down but i feel like you'd need more detail in the in the ground yeah next this is an interesting shot because this appears to be real like this was actually shot while they were moving, but I know that most car shots that are moving are not real. They shoot them stationary, 
add the smoke, add the blur. Um, and to be in this position with the camera and get everything perfect, yeah, that's like a once in a lifetime sort <laughs> of shot that you would never. Yeah, and then when you look at the shadow being cast from the car to the the shadow on the left, how hard that shadow is. Yeah, there's no light makes, really over there. There's no light to the right. Yeah, it just it. I think that it was. What makes it seem real to me is the smoke and it's that like fire coming out of the exhaust. Um, that's done really well, but when I start looking at the lighting and the way that like the car's being lit from the left and the right side, um, something fishy's going on. So I am going to, when I first saw this, I thought this was like uh, an image that you shot at a race and I was going to rate it higher, but now I'm going to rate this as though this is a commercial image that you built out of stationary cars to look as good as possible. I want to see what's... Hmm. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. I knew you were going to go two on this. Yeah. Um, I, when, I, when I first thought that you had gotten this out of race, I was going to give it a three. But if this is something that you spent time building um, to it make it as, as good as possible, then yes, I think it should be better. I think the light on the car is too harsh, um, and it's just not as good as it could be. But if I am wrong, and this is real, it's not real. It's not. Looking at the way that this stuff is blurred, it's not real. I still really like it, though. I think it's it's kind of refreshing. It's it just does It's exciting. It's not an advertising shot. That, it's not like to the highest level where, no. where this racing company would you know, advertise with this shot. It's more of like a documentary feeling shot. This is what it was like at the race last week, you yeah. know? So that's why I was a little harsh on this. What in the world type of car is that? It's like a 1990s, I don't know what that is. You ready? Yeah, I believe so. Three, two, one. You gave it a three, I gave it a two. Um, I don't know. I, I just, I don't think this is done very well. I, I, I wouldn't say this belongs in a car photographer's portfolio. Um, the thing that's throwing me off is the car itself. It looks like, in the building behind it, accentuates this. It makes it feel like it was shot wide angle or something, and the car is smushed. Maybe the car actually looks like that. But I am really thrown off on like, I just want to take this whole bottom part and just pull it. I know. But the, maybe that would be inaccurate. Well, you know? yeah, the car is certainly an ugly car. I don't know much about it. But I think what's also weird about this shot is the entire bottom road part is just totally black. There's no detail down there at all, which is weird. The other weird thing is there's this wall behind the car that is actually taller than the car, which makes the car look even more like it's a toy. Yeah. And then there's this building behind it. I understand what you're going for, like the edges of the car with the rounded edges of yeah. the modern building. It's cool. The sky has been, you know, processed heavily. That doesn't bother me too bad, but it's like the top half of this image looks cool, and then the bottom half looks like a toy sitting on your table. Um, Maybe that's it. Maybe I just keep thinking it does look like a micro machine or something, you know? Yeah, yeah. And maybe it's just it'll, a It'll Horizon be funny thing. if it actually is a toy car. <laughs> that would make a lot more sense. All right. This shot is really interesting to me. I'm ready when you are. All right. I'm going to be a little rough on you. I'm sorry. Three, two, one. You, you give it a three, I give it a two. Here's, here's my problem with this shot. I feel like it's really cool until the you get to the bottom half of the shot. It's like they've done this really interesting post-processing to the Jeep. And if you were to crop this and make it like a super wide shot and you crop out the weird bottom of this frame, I feel like the color grading and everything that you've done matches in the top half of this picture. The bottom half of the picture makes it just seem like a cheap snapshot to me. So that's why I gave it a two. But I, I like the way the Jeep looks. I like the positioning of the Jeep. I like the lighting on the Jeep. I like the color grading on the Jeep. Um, two things that bother me with the bottom. I mean, I, I never even really thought about what you just said, but it does make sense. But I cannot stand this little branch and this little fern coming no, into the frame. A, I point. keep going to that, and it drives yeah. me crazy. I never saw that, but now I can't look away. Um, 
I view this in, in my mind, because maybe because I have a friend in high, from high school who does this, my mind goes into like, this is selling the LED lights or this is selling the accessories. Yeah. And so I feel like I almost want the background above to go a little darker I agree. and make the lights kind of like illuminating the path so that it's, mm -hmm. it's really selling the product because mm -hmm. this doesn't come across as a Jeep ad. It's got too many, I mean, it's got like a winch on the front. Like it looks like a Southern Outfitter company mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. trying to sell something. So in my mind, I feel like you should burn the trees in a little bit more, make these beams of light kind of doing a little bit more. Um, I still think it's really cool, though. Um, mm -hmm, no, me too. I'd put it as a three. I say this belongs in your portfolio until you make one stronger or better. Which would make it a two because it needs work for it. It's your portfolio. We're on the same page. We agree. All right. You all set on this one? I believe so. Three, two, one. Another wow. two and three. I can't believe you gave this a three. Um, it's, it's getting there. It's just... It's not a portfolio image, in my opinion, yet. It's close. It's just I don't like the highlights. I don't like how bright the fuel tank is. I feel like that's blown out. I don't like that highlight on the right side of the fuel tank. I feel like that's blown out. Um, I don't like the fact that you can't see more of the detail in some of the elements, like the, uh, the front brake and the spokes and the engine itself. I wish that you had done a little bit more lighting on the, the other pieces, parts yeah. of the motorcycle. It just it just seems like a very quick shot, and this kind of seems like right out of the camera with a vignette added to it to me. It doesn't seem like a like a fully thought out commercial shoot. The fuel tank definitely. I mean, that my eye goes straight to that, and you know that looks like the bright. It's the brightest thing in the whole image. Yeah, I still think it's cool though. I mean, I don't know how much it's supposed to show. I guess it depends on the use. If it's kind of a editorial use, or if this is an ad for the, you know, the motorcycle itself. I love the parking thing. Like I feel. I do. Like it, I like the ground. I the like ground the ground. Has a cool vibe to it that doesn't feel like a parking garage. It feels like it has a little more racing you know element or airport to it. or something yeah yeah so i don't I know. agree I, th I think it has potential um i just i just think the lighting and the post-processing needs a tweak before could this just be a two light setup yeah it looked that's what it looks like it looks like a light on the left and a light from behind the bike on the right and uh it just but you have this highlight here if the lights here wouldn't that be dark that might be sticking out a little more than the tire, so it's still getting, like, look at this shadow on the, I don't know what piece that is, but right behind the front uh, forks, there's a harsh shadow. That's the thing, like, this almost seems like it was lit with two direct flash speed lights instead of nice big soft boxes that could have given it a more elegant look. Yeah. Next up. Ready when you are. Three, two, one. You gave this a two? Definitely gave this a really? two. Really? Definitely. I love the mood of this. I I I don't think this looks professional uh, to me. I don't think like uh, a full-time professional car photographer would ever have this on their website. Um, the lighting looks kind of amateur to me. The uh, the background looks fake to me with the moon and everything. The back right with like the prison wall, something about it that, doesn't that seem side is, right. Yeah, that is pretty weak there. Um, the fact that there's like a huge amount of dead space on the bottom, the, the composition seems off to me. The lighting on the car, the way that it's lit kind of from below or from the side rather than from above doesn't look right. Like most cars are lit the opposite of this car where the shoulder, the top shoulder of the car is lit and it gets darker as it goes down. Nothing about this seems natural. And so if you were, like, if you actually saw this shot, and I guess this is a Porsche, um, in, in a Porsche ad, it would be lit from above and it would be trying to mimic moonlight, you know? But instead, it's like they just, I don't, I don't even know how they lit this. The problem I have, though, is I feel like no good car photography looks like natural lighting. No, I'm not. It's all dramatic and crazy looking. I feel like this genre is the most post-process genre 
of anything we could pick. Probably. So when you go into that realm with it, I feel like it kind of opens up the doors to do whatever you want. I agree. I just don't think that this looks professional. The part of this lighting that bothers me, I don't mind this highlight on the side. It, it doesn't look that bad to me. But something up here by the running light makes the car look dented or something. Well, that's the thing. The way that this light is and the way that, the like if you look at the door seams, the way that this car is lit, it's making the whole car look like it's really crappy and it's made of plastic. No car... The highlights don't run fluidly. Exactly. The... No car company would allow you to have highlights and shadows that, that bend in towards the joints right. of the car. Right. It just, no part of this looks pro and therefore, like it just makes this car look cheap. It looks like some cheap mod car that uh, you know a high school kid might have or something instead of looking like a perfectly finely tuned. And maybe that's why they light from above because they know that shoulder line is going to be really smooth and that's the ideal place to put the highlight. Maybe, or Where instead the whole front of this car has so much contouring that it does start to look, like you said, cheap. Yeah. Yeah. And Obviously this is not a cheap car. I wouldn't know, but I yeah, I would assume this is a somewhat expensive car, but it just... It just seems like uh, this is a photographer who is getting into car photography and he's trying to take things to the next level and is experimenting with a lot of different lights and a lot of different post-processing techniques, which is awesome. I'm not trying to discourage anybody or be mean or anything. I just think that this has missed the mark when you look at other professional car photographers who are making a living. That's how I'm judging this. I'm judging this. If you want to make a living doing this, should this be on your website, I would say no, this should not be on your website. It'll be funny though when whoever took this response to this video and was like, I've been doing this for 20 years oh, and the, I'm the rich. The community is giving it like a four and a half star. Yeah, yeah. So uh, feel free to tell me I'm very wrong, but that's my opinion. Ready? All right. Three, two, one. Wow, you gave how, no. See, now now I'm getting offended now because the very first, I think it was the first shot, the one with the car under the bridge that I gave a one and you gave a two. This may not have any post processing besides just making it desaturated. The, the composition on this is nice. It's diagonal. You just complained so much about the diagonal side. But it side, works like, with this shot. I don't know. This is definitely a one or a two at best. Agreed. I went with the one. Yes. I think like. I think you could shoot this with your cell phone. I mean, I guess you have a little more blur in the background, so maybe it's a shallower depth it, it, of field. It feels it's like it's tighter. compressed, so I right. think this it's was like taken... like a 50 or something. And uh, I, I would imagine this shot was taken at maybe like 100? 70 millimeters okay. to 100 millimeters. That's my guess um, without being able to... It still that. just comes across as like, hey, drive my car through this puddle and I'll get a couple shots of it. Agreed. And maybe that's enough to push it from the snapshot to a photographer at least thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel like there's no lighting, there's really no po post-processing. I mean, there is post-processing. There's been like fake uh, blur added to the top and bottom. It's like the tilt shift Instagram effect. Uh, okay, a phone can do that now these days I too. I agree. Next up. Is this the Ghostbusters here? car? Kind of looks like it, but then I'm like, no. All right, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Two stars, we agree. Um, I think your lighting is... Uh, def it definitely needs some help. You're using uh, multi-directional harsh lighting. You can see kind of like conflicting and constricting uh, shadows. So it looks like the front of this car, you kind of just held a strobe and pointed it down and it's so harsh, it just looks really cheap. Um, I, if I were you, I probably would have moved back around to the right of the car a little bit more and uh, gotten a little bit bigger light source. If you don't have a softbox, you don't need one, just bounce a flash into a piece of foam core or a white sheet, that would have had soft light. Um, the left side of the car seems to be lit a little bit more even than the front. Um, but at the same time, it's kind of so flat that it's boring. There's obviously some uh, highlight in the black paint on the passenger side door, which needs to be fixed or evened out or something. Your rims are a little too harsh and blown out for me as well. And then the background with the fake bokeh orbs. 
is uh, not working for me. Yeah, this, I mean, this light in the passenger rear window kind of throws me off. That doesn't bother me too much, but it's like, I, it, it almost... What appears, is this piece called? What is that? I don't know. Whatever's like white on the windshield. Yeah, like at first I thought that was some reflection of a softbox above, but I don't think it is. It appears that like maybe the the window on the, the passenger side door is down, which is also kind of weird because there's such a harsh shadow in the window the behind window. it. Um I would just suggest whoever took this shot, do it again, shoot the car at night just like you're doing, but instead of the harsh light, try using a larger light source from more indirect angles because the angles that you're firing right now, they just look too harsh and they're, they're casting shadows that kind of cheapen Do the Do you shot. think, and this might be something only a photographer would really analyze, but to get these type of orbs, typically you're shooting really wide open and you're very close to your subject. Does this make you, or it, it does this for me, but does this make the general public feel like this car is miniature in some way? Because the depth of field doesn't make sense to me to see these orbs like that in the way that it's shot. It almost... It's given me the micro machine feel again in this photo, and I can't I quite figure it out. And maybe it is that, like the definitely the the balls of light in the back don't even register to me as bokeh because they don't seem real at all. It almost seems like a design decision. Yeah. Um, so, I guess I kind of see what you're saying, but it, and this car just doesn't have the feel of the flashiness that. Right. It doesn't. It doesn't jive at all. Yeah. Next. Wow. I, I've shot a couple of cars now, and I've done some stuff where I've tried to light the car from below, like light the ground under the car, and it did not work. It made, it made the car feel like it was floating or photoshopped onto the background. This is a very interesting shot because they've actually made it work, with the light coming from back behind. I'm ready when you are. All right. Three, two, one. Four stars. What in the world? That's... I give, like, I hate this picture. I hate this picture. <laughs> I love it. This is like love the badonkadonk car that's warped and the back looks crazy. I and... think this is what that car looks like. This is a crazy looking car. If, if this is the car that I'm thinking of, the BMW that's like, it looks like a car, but it's the size of an SUV. It, it's got mm. really weird proportions. Now, if it's not that car, then Patrick's right. Uh, you're right. I hate the lens. shadows coming towards with the blown out background. It looks like they're driving into like a waterfall or an iceberg. I just, I don't like this picture at all. I think that I see this image and I personally, like I don't, it's, it's certainly not really my style, but I see so much talent here. I am very excited to see other pictures that this photographer has taken that are a little bit more conservative. Do you like the shooting low, like this just Here's like here. Okay, let me go through what I like. Angle. Let me go through what I like about this. The lighting on the car is probably the best lighting of, on any car that we've looked at so far. Look at the shadows and the highlights and the way that the curves are and everything. It's beautiful. The only thing that looks a little cheap to me may be this highlight right below the back right tail light. It's a little blown out and it's a little weird, but everything else, oh, I just love it. The way everything flows and the, the gradients of the highlights to the blue to the black looks awesome. The rims look awesome. The tires look awesome. The sky above, it looks cool to me. It's so different. This is so over the top. It's really well done. The lights coming from below the car I've, like I said, I've tried to do it before and it made the picture look so bad. Whoever did this is an artistic person and was able to bring it back in a way that, that created like an artistic piece. Do I think that BMW would use this shot in their pamphlet? No, it's a little bit too over the top, but I see this and I see like, man, you've done a lot of stuff that I would never be able to pull off. It's not really my style, but certainly this shows a lot of talent. I mean, I, I can appreciate what you're saying with the highlights on the side of the car. Like, I, like you said, the one on the tail light does kind of bother me, but I'm just not a fan of this car, this angle. Like under here, under the car, you can see all the transmission pipes and axles and... Doesn't bother me. Ah, 
Not a fan of that. <laughs> one. That's one of the biggest disagreements we've ever had. It is. We've done a lot of critique communities. We're always within like one. Usually one and star. We agree it's probably or, in the middle. Or there's been a couple times where we're two apart, but we argue back and forth, and we at the end we come together. Do you still agree this is a two star image? Nothing. I like. I would if I saw this, I wouldn't. I would be like, I definitely don't want to see that car. I don't even want to consider buying that car. Like that just looks like warped and beetle-ish and weird and back heavy. Like get it, get it off the screen. <laughs> All right. <laughs> is that person really in that car or is it photoshopped in? It doesn't look real. I don't like laughing at photos, but this one made it's, me laugh. But it's like somebody photoshopped Sasquatch driving the car or something. Like, it's just, it, if if that's really what that person looked like with the lighting, like, it's just blowing my mind. All right. <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay, you can't give this a one because they've clearly done post-production on it. <laughs> but it's just barely edging over a one for me. Like... <laughs> This car, yeah. it looks like they're on family vacation, and it's like about to, like the wheels about to pop off, and this car is hardly even making it down the road. Uh, no thought in the background. I'm no just, thought in the I'm foreground. I'm trying to figure out like what's going on. There's so many things that are wacky with this shot. It's like, first of all, what is this? What is this shadow on the left side of the frame that's like a perfect line? Something about that doesn't look right or realistic at all. Then we have the sky, which is like if the sun is coming from behind the car, the sky should be white. So they just like put in a neon orange sunset, which doesn't look right. Um, or you should have a ton of yellow orange light coming from the back. Yeah. Putting a like a uh, you know cast yeah. on it. I don't know what's going on with that. Then when you start zooming in, and we we are looking at a low res shot, but when you start look, zooming in, it's like they've added this like posterization effect or something. I don't quite know what's going on there. But you have the flare in the passenger side window too. That's true. I do like the gas tank on top. Are they all gas tanks? <laughs> it's like four gas tanks and a Coca-Cola. Oh, and a surfboard. They have a surfboard. But then this, this woman or man in the car, the way he or she is lit there's like no shadows on either side. I don't know if this person was photoshopped in. Well, and look at the depth of field. It's infinite. And then the person looks kind of blurry and like out of focus. I don't know. <laughs> There's so much about this image that I, I think can't being, understand. Are we being trolled? Or? I'm, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not just being difficult to be difficult. Like this picture is blowing my mind. Um, anything else to say here? No. All right, let's move on. Yeah. You ready? Yep. Three, two, one, two stars. Ooh, I feel like I feel like there's a lot of potential here. I think this person knows what they're doing. It's just they haven't gotten the like finesse down with the lighting yet. The sky, I can't tell what's going on with the sky again. Sorry, it's a low res shot, but it's like these lines in the sky. I don't know if this was added or that's really what it looked like. Um, but I, I think the, the issue, the reason why I give this a two and not a three is just because of the lighting on the car is close, but it's not quite there. I think it's, I think it's weird that the closest point to the camera on the car is pure black. And I'm not saying that it shouldn't be dark. Um, I definitely understand what you're doing with the, the you know, reverse lighting, but I think there should be some detail there and it just seems totally, totally blown out. Um, the, the part that gives me it puts me in the two category instantly is just the half the picture is just boring weird sky that like you said doesn't really make sense it's got this banding in it to me even if the sky was epic or something more interesting it still just sits really weird to me yeah i feel like this should be a horizontal shot more on the car or something really interesting needs to be <laughs> happening you know there it's like a music fest or it's like they're they're camping and looking at the stars, like something that puts this SUV there on the location. Just to have a sunset, it just seems. I could see this shot working, like if you finesse the lighting on the car a little bit more and then you had like deep rumbly clouds, like a storm or something, it would work for me with this composition. Maybe, it, it seems like you could put a bunch of text and it could be good for like yeah, a that's pamphlet, true too. That's but true too. it's not the hero shot 
that would go in the pamphlet for this SUV. It's not the hero shot we deserve. How many photos of cars have we seen with people in them? I don't know. Just a handful. You ready? Three, two, one. I give it a three. I was on the fence about a four on this one. Like it's definitely the post processing on this is getting to the point where I'm, I'm seeing what you're doing. It's looking a lot better. You got the effect of the blur. You have the, the color tinting. I've seen car pictures with this vibe that look absolutely amazing. It's just, I feel that this one is not quite there. Um, I think the lighting on the car isn't there. Uh, I imagine that this shot uh, was taken with the car right there on the road. You know, uh, it, it doesn't look like you shot this in the studio perfectly and then put it there. Or you shot it in this location and then added the cars later, but you got the lighting just right. It just, when I look down the side of the car, we start with the front headlight. There's a weird highlight that makes it look like there's a dent in the car. And then you look at the, the shadows down the side by the door. They could all be cleaned up, but they just haven't been. And then when you look at right above the car in the background, I think that looks great. But then you start looking in the back right of the frame and I feel like it's just a little bit too blown out maybe. Um, and you see the cabs and everything. It's so close to me. And I feel like a lot of the issues that I have with this image could probably be fixed in Photoshop. What do you think? I'm on the fence with the whole uh what, what is it, the aperture lens flare lens flare coming through and the, and the shadow in front of the car. Obviously, that's where it would be if the sun's behind, but it just seems, uh, it seems a little harsh when it feels like you're in a shaded area. You know, there's no direct sunlight except hitting the back window there. I'm also, and I don't know what they do in car photography. I really don't look at car photography that much, but the driver, I just feel like I almost want to see the person's face. And I know if you see the person's face, it needs to be like the perfect person driving the car, you know, like thought has to go into that. But having the side of the window just cut straight against his face. Here's what's kinda weird. Kind of bothers me a little bit, but maybe that's what they do. They try to make it real yeah, ambiguous. Yeah, I think and... they try to hide the person's face. I think what's a little weird is is just where his face happens to be. Like if if his head was into the frame just a little bit more, it's, it's like you can almost see his eye. And so it feels a little awkward the way that he's cropped off. Again, it's like if, if this was a all day photo shoot that you were doing for this car company and you, you took 5,000 shots, I just think there would be another shot where the car was turned a little bit more and the lighting was coming from a slightly different direction that might've just been a little bit better. But if this is the type of thing that you just grabbed your buddy or whatever and you went out and you grabbed the shot real quick, then I think it's done really well for the situation that you were in. I just think that uh, I want it to be a four, but quite there for me yeah i agree that's the last shot guys thank you so much for watching if you would like for us to critique any of your images head over to fstoppers.com you can join the community upload pictures to your portfolio and then each week we release a post on fstoppers where we say hey submit your car pictures or your food pictures or your wedding pictures and then two or three days later we pick 20 of the and it's not the best pictures, but a range of pictures. And then we sit down, see them for the first time, and critique them. Do you want to, while we're on the air right here, choose the next genre? Ooh, and the next genre? What, what would be a good genre to Have do? we done food photography? What if we do children's photography? I don't think we've done Families. that. Family photography? Family in the park. Family in the park. So the next critique the community will be your best family pictures, children's, families, kids, in the studio, outside, doesn't matter. Whatever you have with families, we will critique. Thank you for watching.